Do you recall a time when sculpting by hand was wholesome and pure, before ZBrush and 3D programs ruined our lives and made us lose our collective shit, when AI didn't perform calculations that could outdo human artists? Those were better days. Yeah, me neither. We're gonna need some polymer clay and some tools. We're gonna need some teeth, preferably not from dead animals. To make my own teeth, I take the translucent clay and get it all mushy and gushy and squeeze it around and knead it and roll it and squeeze it into the shape of some teeth. Now I've met a lot of teeth in my day, in my life, in my time. I've learned it's best to bake them in bulk. Oh, looks like this one's trying to escape. Don't you hide from me. Now throw them in an oven for 15 minutes at 275 degrees. Then store them away in a special. Now get you some wire that you can over engineer into a clay scaffold, aka an armature. I'm gonna bulk out the head with cos clay and bake it so I have a solid foundation to add the gums and teeth, which will be made from the translucent sculpting. Make sure to give your clay a chance to become friends before you start to Frankenstein them to one another. Hey, what's your name? Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I need Rick. Except clays don't have personalities, so let's just stop messing around. Now, you might notice that the sculpture looks like shit in the early stages. Well, you know what they say about sculpting. It doesn't have to be perfect, just like you. Uh, okay. uh, no, no. Look at this. It's finally starting to look like something. This is what expressing yourself looks like. And we're just bulking out the form, so it really doesn't matter if it looks good yet. Now we're just about ready to work on the teeth receptacles, aka gums, or mouth, or gaping maw. Hey, hey, bud. Let's, let's talk this through. Ah, Jesus! Now, if you like creatures and you like things that come in the shape of creatures, then you'll definitely love creatures. This creature has lots of teeth, so we need to carefully apply them to the gums. Can you guess how? With your feet? No, good guess though. Oh, your tongue? No, that would be really gross. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with geezers. Oh, oh, oh. Tweezers. <laughs> no, it's fingers, you stupid fuck. So we'll carefully put in those teeth that we pre-baked earlier. Just jam them in there real good, nice and tight and snug. Now, if placing teeth with some classic bare fingers makes you feel like a sheep, don't worry. That's why tweezers were invented in 1935 by inventor Z-R-A-V-E Don. <sighs> Seriously, that's his name. Look it up. Now, if you've gotten to this point and your sculpture looks like this, congratulations. It means your sculpting skills need work and you're a failure. But we need to use the skills that we have and do what we can and not get upset. If you want your creature to look stylish and trustworthy when it's out on the town, make sure to give it a man bun. Or just the regular haircut is fine. Just gonna add some finishing touches, smoothing everything out with some isopropyl alcohol. And to test out if he's done, let's check for a growl. Yep. He's done. Now we'll send this demon off to the pits of hell for an hour or so. Once baked, I'm gonna apply a light dusting of pastel shades to the sculpture because of reasons. And also, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Seriously, I think I was supposed to add the pastel before I baked it. Ah well, learn from my mistakes, I guess. Before I hit it with any paint, I'm gonna add a layer of liquid Sculpey to create a smooth layer over the gums and teeth. The painting process can seem like an insurmountable task, but just remember these simple steps to ensure at least a mediocre paint job in no time flat. Remember to paint dark to light. Always blend colors. Never give up. Add highlights last. Don't be lazy. If you're losing faith in your painting skills like I am, remember you always have washes that you can apply at the last minute that help tie up the mess of a paint job you've done. The final step is to apply a delicate coat of UV resin, unless you're a lazy fuck, in which case you can just slather it on haphazardly and do what you want. I don't give a care. I cheated death once again. Uh, 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 uh.